All right, lads, so the nip one event just dropped this morning, and with that, in case you weren't already aware, because of course that was some big controversy over the last week, it does indeed have a special move source. So if you get to 5 million points in this current point event, you are rewarded with that very rare item, and that is something that every player watching this video should be picking up within the next two or so weeks. The event itself leaves in this 16, so make sure you go ahead and do it. It's such an easy grind, even if you have no bonus characters. All you gotta do is repeat extra quests 1, 2, or 3, eventually 4, 5, and 6 when they do come out. Of course, you can do a 10 times soul ticket run. You don't need to rush it in the first day, but you have two weeks to do it. Now, in my case, I'm counting on 4.5 million points. And with that, in 500k points, we do get our speed at special move source. And that's why right now in this video, we are about to do the ultra quest where we are going to be rewarded 500k points for beating this quest. And the extra quest this time around does want us to bring a heart sword for killer. So, of course, we're going to bring the new Thousand Year Blood War True Shika Ichigo. I guess you can start this as a little teaser for the upcoming showcase that we are about to do. Let's just run through this super quick, right? Let's go here. Use that SA1 into the two. Super fast character, but I messed up my strong attacks. I have no idea what the layout is for these enemies. It's kind of awkward all over the place. There we go. Into the next room. This should be an easy beam straight down the middle. You'll have to see it. With that, we might as well go here. Let's use our SA3. Does that actually kill? Yeah, look at that. Took out the entire entire room. That was a good use of the SA3. I like that, man. And then let's finish up with a, a get a good juju show. There we go, nice and easy. And with that, we should be rewarded with our 500k points, making it to 5 million. So there you have it, 500k points. And with that, there's the move source. Now, in this case, for some reason, if you don't know what a special move source is, understandable, we haven't had one since the 8th anniversary. It's a very rare item, and it's a free duplicate for any character, in this case, in the speed attribute. So if I was to use it on Senjimaru, it would get it to special move level 5, where she would then be able to be max transcended. So this is an item that you don't want to just willingly use on anyone. You want to save it for either your favorite character or some of the best characters in the entire game characters that we're about to talk about. Now, first up, my first recommendation on the special move source is when to use it. I will only ever use it realistically when a character is special move level 4 out of 5, because in that way, if I give them that duplicate, again, in this case, Senjumara, right? If I get her to special move level 5, she is then going to unlock the 6th transcendent slot, where I can potentially roll 500 extra SP, and that is a massive damage increase. That is realistically the only time I ever use my sources. I rarely ever use them before that, but another good time to use it is to actually unlock the second slot and realistically i would only recommend doing this for your favorite characters if you know you're going to use a character for a long time if you know this particular character potentially okira is going to be your main go-to character and you want to get them to special move level two it might be something you want to do in this case hypothetically if i was to use an okira it would unlock his focus slot where he would then get guaranteed criticals and do a tad bit more damage and those are the only times i would ever use a special move source on a character like this even to get them 2-5 where I then unlock their focus slot or to get them 5-5 five, five, where then I unlock their 6 transcendent slot which could be more SP, more attack, more focus depending on the character I am using. Any other time I wouldn't recommend it. Like let's say Tenzan gets it for example. Really good character. If I was to use a move source on him, it would just give him a stamina slot, stamina or defense. That makes no difference for this character. It really doesn't. For SP characters, unlocking a third slot allows you to give them level 10 attack. And sure, that does increase their DPS, but it's not really anything noteworthy. Same with characters like Kagarosa, level 10 attack and focus is really sticky all he needs. If I was to use a move source on him, it's not really going to change how he plays. It's really not. So with the idea in mind of when you should be using a move source, what characters should you be using these move sources on? Now, when it comes to the speed attribute, in my opinion, there are only two characters that are worth using the source on. Of course, the best and most optimal choice for this special move source is going to be Thousand Year Blood War Yachita Unohana. She is currently the best speed character in the game. She's limited, so more reason to use it since you're not likely to get dupes of her unless you specifically pull on her banner whenever she returns. But she's also really really good right an amazing character i have a five out of five and i believe i did use a speed source on her when i did get her four out of five when she first initially released so if i reduce the source on her i would recommend others to do so as well if you currently have a special level four that speed move source will take it to five five and that's something i recommend doing if you have a one five and you really like playing with this character well then maybe using the move source on her to get a focus stop might not be the worst thing to do 
Again, if you already have a 2-5, using a speed move source on her isn't going to be that beneficial to you. Like, sure, again, you unlock the attack slot, but it doesn't really change how much she's going to play. And you probably won't even notice that much of a difference. So, if you are willing to use it on Yachiru, again, only use it on her if she's currently special move level 4 out of 5 or special move level 1 out of 5. Let's say you already got her max transcended, though. Well, the next best character is, of course, going to be Macy. Again, similar idea. If you have a 1-5, it might be worth using it to get a 2-5. If you have a 4-5, it might be worth using it to get a Max Transcended. She's a meta character in this game, of course, especially when it comes to Guild Quest, where the ranged no affiliation Guild Quest, and of course, also Squad Zero Guild Quest, doesn't have that many good characters. And right now, Macy is the best option for that, and the better she's duped out, the better she is, of course. 2 out of 5, and of course, a 5 out of 5 Macy is really good. And is plenty strong for the very hard difficulty of Guild Quest. And if anything, to a certain extent, she might be more worth it than Yachiru, given the fact that she's a Burn the Witch character. You know, Yachiru, of course, is limited. She is rare. She's gonna come back every three or so months, though, whenever they do decide to rerun her banner. Macy, given the fact that she's a Burn the Witch character, they only return maybe twice a year. So if anything, maybe Macy might be a character that you want to use your source on. Again, to get her the focus slot or to get her 5-5. If you already have a 2-5, there's no need to really use that source on her. Other than those two characters, in my opinion, you should be saving the source. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Of course, though, if you have a favorite character that is speed, even if they're a premium character, by all means, do what you want to do to have fun, right? Ultimately, it's your account. There's no really bad decision to use a source on, to a certain extent. Of course, 7th Anniversary Oryu is a great character, and getting him 5 out of 5 with a move source wouldn't be the worst idea, but given the fact that he's a premium character, I probably wouldn't really use it on him. You're going to eventually pull him later on, and that's exactly what I did. I never used my sources on him, because I knew eventually later on, I will get him. He's most likely, even though it's 7 months away, he's most likely going to be on the 9th Anniversary banner. So you'll most likely pull him while going for the 8th and 9th Anniversary characters. Now, of course, Senjumaru is a character you might be tempted to use the move source on. Again, in my case, she fits the perfect situation for me, right? She's limited. She's 4 out of 5. If I was to use this source on her, it would unlock her 6 slot, where I then could get 500 additional SP. However, I'm not doing that, because Senjumaru is OP. She's realistically only ever going to be used in Inheritance Trials, and maybe Epic Raids if I want to take it into there. But she already claims Inheritance Trials super fast. Even at 1 out of 5, maybe using on her to get the focus slot wouldn't be the worst idea, but... Again, Again, she's a farmer, but she's a really good one at that. She's the best farmer in the game. Getting that focus slot, I guess, would speed up the runs a tad bit. But she's already clearing IT super fast to begin with that I'm just not going to use the source on her. I really was tempted to because her 5 out of 5 would be insane. But right now with my 4-5 Senjumaru, she's already one showing. So 500 potential extra SP is not going to make that much of a difference for me. It's really not. But if you were to use it on her to get a 5-5, it wouldn't be the worst idea. It really wouldn't. She's still a great farmer. She's going to be your main go-to IT farmer for potentially the next year, right? It wouldn't be the worst idea. But again, for me, she's already one-shotting, so I don't see the need of getting extra damage on her. Same goes for Tensor, right? If for some reason you wanted to use on him, less reason to do so since he's premium. But again, already is an amazing IT farmer. No need to get extra dupes for him. 1 out of 5, 2 5 is honestly good enough. I guess the best way to look at it, realistically, dupes only really matter when it comes to guild quest because that's where, you know, you're competing against other players. Obviously, dupes make your character do more damage, you clear faster, it's overall more fun. But Macy and also Yachiru, the best examples to use a source on, are not only some of the best characters in just normal PvE content, they're really good in Limit Breaker, of course, also really good in Guild Quest, in some of the more difficult weeks where having them makes a massive difference. And remember, saving the source is something that you might want to do. That's exactly what I'm doing. We know in 2024, we're going to get an amazing set of characters, as always. Especially when we start to get, like, the exciting Core 2 characters like Bankai, Rukia, Renji... Vol Standing as not some of the others Quincy Storm Raiders too. If any of them are ever a speed character, which is bound to happen for one of them, right? We are going to get new powerful speed characters. Having that source on them when they do release potentially saves you the need of going for duplicates or trying to potentially go for the 5-5. Other than that though, I guess some other characters would be good here. You know, Okura is a meta character in GQ. I should use on him because he actually would improve my GQ scores, but he's premium, so I'm not going to. Maid Orihime, her damage output doesn't matter, so I wouldn't recommend using on her. Seventh Anik you again great character but you just don't need to get him 5-5 five, five with the source you can do that later on so again really sticky the only two characters i would recommend using on is macy and of course also yachiru unahana to a certain extent you might want to use on senjimaru she's a farmer she's limited you're going to constantly use her but she's already one-shotting as is maybe it's best to save that move source for a new broken character if you are fortunate like me where i already have a max transcended macy and a max transcended Yachiru. But I do know and I will say I have used a source on her 
Rainbow ones too, and I have used the source on her, would have been willing to use a rainbow one when I initially did get them max transcended. So if I'd done it, I can easily recommend that Yachiru and also Macy are the two best options to use this source on. You don't have to use it right now. Save it for the next OP speed character if you want to. But right now, they're your two best bets. In the comments below, let me know who you guys plan to use your source on. I'm curious to know. For me, again, I'm going to save it. I'm kind of hoping Giselle is going to be a speed character. And if Giselle is, then uh, of course, I'm going to easily get them 5-5 five five without having to go super, super deep. Either way, make sure you grab that move source. 5 million points. You have two weeks to do it. It's such an easy grind. And if you can't do that, well, unfortunately, as real as it might be, you can't grind anything in this game. It's, it's such an easy grind. There's no reason not to get it. Even if you have zero bonus characters. Even if for some reason you have to spend 200 orbs. It's worth it. Because a free duplicate of any character can easily save you up to thousands of orbs. Money even. So make sure you grab it. It's in the current point of end. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.